thank you for tuning in. It's me, Nini. We are playing the Walking Dead series. Like, I'm playing it from the beginning to the end, even the in between the seasons. The only Walking Dead I haven't played is the 400 Days, I believe. I think that's what it's called. But we met Clementine, and I bawled my eyes out, and I have a feeling I'm going to bawl my eyes out. We should just get this started. So let's do this. We're in the memory lane again. This ah, it's getting me in my feels already. Just saying, Lee, my guy. Well, I reckon you didn't do it then. I sure did it. Doesn't matter. Oh man, I, huh. I pressed nope, the wrong button already. Not. You know, I've driven a bunch of fellas down to this prison. Lord knows how many. Usually it's about now I get the I didn't do it. Not for me every time. Not for me. Not for me. Because guys in your position already said it enough. Is there anything I can look? There you go. I followed your case a little bit. You being a making boy and all. You're from the Meekin then? You're from Macon then. Oh, Macon? Yep. Came up to Atlanta to be a city cop in the 70s. I always wanted to work a murder case. Like that senatorial mess you got yourself mixed up in. With all due respect. A real shame, that is. Hell, the whole family used to be regulars at your folks' drugstore right in downtown. Still there? Sure is. Good. Any of that seem important to you? All of it. But that box never shuts up. Sit in this seat and pay too much attention and you'll drive yourself crazy. What a great I got cop. nephew up at UGA. You teach there long? Going on my sixth year. You meet your wife in Athens? Aww. You want to know how I see it? How'd you see it? Sure, sure. Sure. Regardless, could be you just married the wrong woman. Could be I did, or she married the wrong guy. Oh, I want to say F you, but you know, fuck you. Oh, what do you mean to say that? <sighs> driving this man once he he was the worst one he wouldn't stop going on about how he didn't do it he was an older fella it. big soft eyes behind a pair of smart folk glasses and he just wailing back there says it wasn't him crying and snotting all over right where you sit then before long Damn. he starts kicking the back of the seat like like a fussy baby on an airplane not tell him he's got to stop that's government property and I'll be forced to zap him otherwise. So he stops. You gotta do that all the time. All his options, he starts crying out for his mama. Mama, it's all a big mistake. It wasn't me. So did he do it? He yeah, do I'm it? curious. They caught the fucker red-handed, stabbing his wife, cutting her up as the boys came through the door. He sits in my car screaming bloody murder that it wasn't him. 
think he actually believed it himself. It goes to show, people will up and go mad when they believe their life is over. Yep, I do believe oh, that. I got too. another good one for you. This one's a little bit less depressing and a bit more hilarious, if I do say so. This other time... <laughs> his gun out hey hey officer are you all right i'm still cuffed back here he's dead dead come on lee he dead dead <clears throat> i'll be panicking though Woo. damn it come on lee use your strong leg i need to Drag myself out that window. I need to drag myself out that window. Oh, I don't know why. I thought he was going to get cut. I'm tripping. The shotgun is over there. Shoddy. Pick up the shoddy. Looks empty. It'll be easier to carry with these cuffs off. Oh, yeah. So let's get the cuffs. The bullets is right there. Got wrecked. Shit. Is it a jump scare? I think from what I don't remember, this was a jump scare. <gasps> oh, nope, never mind. I don't remember anything.
Ooh, my aim is on point. It's always on point. Headshot. Yeah. Help! Go get someone! Oh, my baby girl! Finish shooting! Honestly, if I had a girl, when I have a baby girl, I would name, I would name her Clementine. I'm not even kidding. Just cause Clementine's, ch she is actually the best, like, child or kid character ever. I think, unless there's some character I just don't know about or a game I played I haven't. <laughs> Unless there was a game I played with a kid in it that I don't know about that's good too, like Clem. But Clem is my favorite. I think everybody's favorite is Clem. I think in the frontier, they messed up. Like, they should have let you control Clem. Like, no matter what your option was, you were going to protect Clem no matter what. So that's what I did. I don't know. Let me know in the comment section if you guys agree with me what I'm saying. Right now. But I'm just glad they gave us closure with this game when the whole drama was happening. No ladder. <laughs> I'm not getting up there anyway. This leg the way it is. We know who's up there. Anybody up there? You play too much, Clem. Fill one of those teacups with some bourbon if I could. Help! Still makes me sad that Clem had to grow up in this environment. It's, she had to grow up and mature so fast. She don't deserve that. Maybe I should just check inside the house through the glass door before wandering out into the neighborhood. I wonder if anybody's home. Hello? Anybody home? I need a little help. Yes, we do. Yes, we do. Just break in. Coming in. Don't shoot, okay? Not an Let's intruder. Let's you up real quick, Lee. Or one of them. These people might need more help than I do. Mm. Yep, Clem. Clem is a unicorn. Yes, she is. There, there were foreshadowing, Clem. I know. God damn. Oh, Jesus. Oh my God. I... Did he? I don't remember him slipping. <sighs> yep. Now you feel better, Lee? This place has been ransacked. Just about anything worthwhile is gone. What's that beeping? You know what it is. It's your hose, Lee. 
It's your house. My walkies for the thotties. I don't remember. I gotta search everything. I'm, I don't remember if I need everything or anything. Well, obviously you need something, but okay, just open. There are three new messages. Oh yeah, didn't Clem got everything up there? Cause she's a smart girl. Marshalls. That's a Savannah area code. But that's the type of loot you'd leave a babysitter. Savannah, Savannah. Am I slip again? Oh. Let's see. Listen to the messages. messages. Message one left at 5.43 p.m. Hey, Sandra, this is Diana. We're still in Savannah. Uh, Ed had a little incident with some crazy guy near the hotel, so we had to get him back to the ER and have it checked out. Anyway, he's not feeling well enough to drive back tonight, so we're staying an extra day. Thanks so much for looking after Clementine, and I promise we'll be back in time before the spring break. Message two, left at 11.19 p.m. Oh my god, finally. I don't know if you tried to reach us. All, all the calls are getting dropped. They're not letting us leave and aren't telling us anything about Atlanta. Please, please, just leave the city and take Clementine with you back to Murrieta. I've, I've got to get back to the hospital. Please let me know that you're safe. Oh, oh my god, it still gets me, gets me going already. 6.51 a.m. Clementine, baby. If you can hear this, call the police. That's 911. We love you. We love you. We love you. It's making me cry already. Just because I know what's going to happen. Oh, that made me sad. Oh. Huh? Hello? You need to be quiet. Are you okay? I'm okay. They tried to get me, but I'm hiding until my parents come home. What's your name? Why are your parents? How old are you? What's, What's your, your name? name? I'm Clementine. This is my house. Hi, Clementine. I'm Lee. Oh my god. Oh my god, whatever. They took a trip and left me with Sandra. They're in Savannah, I think. Where the boats are? Are you safe? Are you safe? I'm outside in my tree house. They can't get in. That's smart. See? Can you see me? I can see you through the window. <laughs> You're so sweet, Clem. I just want to squeeze you. Cute. Man. 
Hi there. Did you kill it? I sure did. Yes. It's okay. I think she was a monster. Yeah, I think so too. You've been all by yourself through this? Yeah. I want my parents to come home now. I think that might be a little while, you know? Oh. Look, I don't know what happened, but I'll look after you until then. What yes, should I we will. do now? Look for help before it gets dark. Get out of here. Okay. We need to find help before it gets dark. Yeah, it's not safe at night. Yep. What a smart girl. Let's go. Stay close. No, to Matthew. Her. No, I want to look upstairs. I forgot what's upstairs. Oh my goodness, I probably forgot something up there. Why did I do that? I, wait, I don't even remember if you can go upstairs or not. Okay, Lee. You're a G. You always been a G. God, Clem. I'm so tripping how tiny she was. Oh, man. I'm like so happy we grew up with her. I ain't never getting home to mama at this rate. This sucks. Oh, it's hot dish night. Dang. Forgot about these people. I forgot. I don't even know their name. What's the matter? Should I stay? What? I don't want to sleep in the treehouse tonight, I but down. I don't know if I should leave. What if my parents come home? I won't let you. I won't leave you. They won't let go. I won't leave you alone. Yep. Well, let's go somewhere safe that's close, okay? That's yes. A good idea. Yes, baby girl. Treat you like Mason. Hey, man. Holy shit. Don't eat us. We're not gonna hurt you. Yeah. Thought for a second you and the little one were both gonna give us the chomp. What are you doing? What's going on? Do What's you going know on? What the hell this is? No idea. So you've seen them then? You could say that. I'm Sean. Sean Green. Lee, this is Clementine. I'm Chet. We shouldn't be out in the open like this. How about you help us clear the way, and we'll take you and your daughter out of here and down to my family's farm. It should be safer there. I'm not a dad. I'm... I'm a babysitter. babysitter. Her parents are out of town. Let's get going. Staying put for too long is a mistake. That's really what it is. What do you want to do? I... The monster's coming. We gotta go. Leave quick. Let's go. I'm like, want to push it with them. Babysitters go. Let's say your parents owe you a tip. He went to the trunk instead of the
You can never go wrong with the farm just because it's out in the open and hey, you Sean, know they always have food, like home. resources. My mama's gonna be in a snit. No sweat, man. I'll catch you tomorrow night. It was nice to meet you both. It's nice to meet you too, chat. Thank you for risking your life being in the trunk for us. Appreciate that. Thank God you're okay. I was worried it'd be bad here too. Been quiet as usual the past couple days. Well, Brecken down the way thinks his mare's gone lame, but that ain't nothing new. I wouldn't have made it back without Chet. Well, I'm glad you took him with you then. You've brought a couple guests. Your boy's a lifesaver. Life glad he could be a help to somebody. So it's just you and your daughter then? Oh, not his daughter. He's the babysitter. Honey, do you know this man? Yes. Okay, then. Well, looks like you hurt your leg pretty bad there. Uh, yeah, it's not doing so good. He's a great guy. He actually Sean, was looking out for Clem. Sister. You take a seat up on the porch and I'll go see what I have. I don't know if there's a zombie apocalypse, guys. Would you be accepting like this people are? Or what? Let's have a look. Because I don't know if yeah. I would. This you is know? swollen to hell. Not too bad. Could be worse. Yeah, could it could be, be worse. worse. That's what it sounds like. Seems like things got awful bad in the cities. What did you say yeah, your name was? Jamal Lee! It's Lee. Nice to meet you, Lee. I'm Herschel Green. How'd this happen? I fell, car accident, jumping... Car accident. accident. That's so. Where were you headed before the car accident? I'm gonna tell him the truth. I was getting out of Atlanta. The news says stay. Yeah, well, that's a mistake. We hit a guy. One of those things you've been hearing about on the road. Who are you with, the girl? No, a police officer. I was with a police officer. He was giving me a ride. Awful nice of him. I'm an awful nice guy. House is full up with mine. We got another displaced family of three sleeping in the barn. You and your daughter are welcome to rest there when we're done here. I didn't catch your you name. You know, she is my daughter. Clem Clementine. Can't imagine what you've been through, Clementine. I'm looking after her until we uh, find her parents. Hey, Dad. So I'm thinking, first thing tomorrow, we got to reinforce the fence around the farm. That doesn't seem necessary. I don't know what you saw on TV or heard on the radio, but there's some serious shit hitting the fan. I don't think anyone knows how big it is yet. Your son is right. Your son's <laughs> right. You're going to want to fortify this place. Stuff like that doesn't happen around here, Sean. Dad, I'm serious. Lee, come on. Tell him what you saw out there, man. A man got run over, a dead crawling in the ground, dead people I got walking. Cheeks by a couple of dead people. Well, do what you think you should. We got plenty of chores as it is. Lee and those folks in the barn can help out in the morning. We gotta do it. Really. I already said okay. Well, I'm all done here. It should start to feel better tomorrow. Thanks. Thank you. If your leg gets hot or the swelling doesn't go down, you're probably dealing with an infection. What do we do then? They'll probably just have to shoot you. <laughs> Ouch! So Let's straight up. Redress it, and you'll be fine. <laughs> okay, that'd be preferable. There's blankets and such in the barn. We'll be seeing you bright and early. Come tomorrow. Which way you think you're headed? Towards Macon, I suppose. All right then. It smells like shit. Perfume? Oh shit! Manure. Manure. Manure? Like when a horse plops? Just like yep. that. I miss my mom and dad. I want to hug her so bad. How far is Savannah? Pretty far. Oh. Okay. I 
I don't know. I never read up on this, but it's the voice actor for Clem isn't the same person throughout the series. Hey, get up. Ken. Ken Can dog. Well, you slept in a barn, little lady. Lucky you don't have spiders in your hair. <laughs> but I bet your daddy scared them all away, huh? I'm, uh, not her dad. Name's Lee. I'm Kenny. Dad, we're in the middle of fence. There's a tractor and everything. We better get going, or we won't hear the end of it. That's my boy, Ken Jr. We call him Duck, though. Dodging or quacking. I would say Duck. Duck? Yeah, nothing bothers him. Like water off a duck's back, <laughs> you know? That's a valuable trait lately. No kidding. But frankly, I think it's because he's dumb as a bad Oh, dang! Dad! I don't remember him uh, saying he that. He makes up for it with enthusiasm. The word is, you were on your way to Macon. My family's from there. Well, Macon's on the way, and personally, I'd appreciate the company of a guy who can knock a couple of heads together if he has to. Maybe let's... Uh, I asked the girl. I asked Clint. I'll see what the girl would like. Ah, gotta consult the missus. I understand. Honey, Duck, this is Lee. And, uh, oh, what's the girl's Clem. name? Clementine. Clementine. That is a very it pretty is. name. Thanks. Well, we should get to work. We've all seen what those things can do out there, so the faster we get this fence up, the better. I want to build a fence. Yeah? Well, I need a good foreman. You can sit on the tractor and yell at me whenever I take a water break. On the tractor? Cool! Duck and I will hop to it. I can keep an eye on your little girl here on the porch. We can visit. Uh, thank you. Talk to Clem. Hey there, girls. You two actually look relaxed. What do you do? How was the city? How did you handle getting through the city? Kenny just drove. We passed so many people that needed help, and we just passed people over some. Just, just... Uh, it's okay. It's fine. You don't have to say anymore. I want to go home tomorrow, but even then I can't take away the things we... The things Doc went through. Mm-hmm. Don't you want to go back to the moment before you knew about all of this? Who wouldn't things happen for a reason? Yes, I believe that. This could all be providence, you know? Not what we saw. You just never realize when something is happening to you, what you're being given. Maybe this will all work out. Your optimism is refreshing. New. These past couple days, at least. You two look relaxed. You two actually look relaxed. I think we're doing just fine. Clementine was just telling me about first grade. Oh, uh, how is that? It's easy. <laughs> well, yeah. So, you're good? Anyway, it's almost like we didn't see people eating each other for the past three days. It's peaceful here, no? Yep. So, uh... What do you do when corpses aren't walking around? I'm a veterinarian back in Fort Lauderdale. Like Herschel here, except more with dogs and cats and uh, not horses. What is it that you do, Lee? I used to teach up at the University of Georgia. We need to hope that we can go back to our jobs soon, Lee. Back to normal. It can't stay like this. First of all, job is the last thing in my head. No, I used to. I was let go a little while back. Well, that's too bad. Well, I hear people always clamor back to college after a big disaster. People don't want to die ignorant, I guess. <laughs> back in a bit. Okay, Lee. Come on, lady. You having a nice time with Katya Clementine? Yeah. yeah. Go back to work after all this? You're crazy. He seems like an all right dude. Okay, tractor. We're gonna go to tractor. What's up, duck? 
How you doing, Duck? Good. I'm gonna drive the tractor. I'm the foreman. Lift with your back, Sean. You know how to drive it? Sure don't. I can give you a hell of a critique of the U.S. farm. <laughs> I'm good. Hey, Lee. Need a hand? Need a hand? That'd be great. If you could cut those two bites to length, that'd sure speed things up. I got you. My dad doesn't know how bad it is. He's in no, denial. He doesn't. I saw a guy in Atlanta kill a kid. A boy. Just shot him right in the face. Damn. Damn. That's all you could say. Oh shit, damn. He didn't even hesitate. He just turned, put the barrel of the gun right between the kid's eyes, and pulled the trigger. You don't see things like that. It's not like in the movies. They don't fall like you think. Did you have to do it? Do what? Kill. Have you had to off one yet? Oh. Uh... I had a batch of girls' brains. Yeah, I had to shoot one. I had to shoot one. I could shoot one, maybe, if it were far away. Yeah, if it's far away. I'm just glad we're getting this fence built. Dad just wants to keep the family safe and thinks inviting people in is a bigger threat than whatever's out there. He How about has yours? He has a How point. How's your family? My parents are in Maine with my brother. I don't know where my ex-wife is. My brother and parents are in Macon. I hope. No, oh, man, I hope so too. Maybe it's not too bad there. That's probably all I need cut for now. Thanks. Do I need to talk to Sean again? Yep. Hey, Lee. Still need a hand? That's probably all I need cut for now. Thanks. Okay, I guess we go somewhere else. Do you uh, think this thing will keep him out? Not yet. I'm planning on coming back through on a fortification pass, if you will. We'll lock this place up good. You better. Do I talk to Duck again? How you doing, Duck? Good. I'm gonna drive the tractor. I'm the foreman. Lift with your back, Sean. I guess, uh, what do, how, what do we do to trigger this? Oh, the, the barn. Is there anything in the barn? Oh no, there's nothing in the barn. Maybe we gotta talk to Kenny now. <clears throat> yep, we are gonna talk to Kenny now. You need help? It's not the most reliable pickup in the world, but it gets the job yes, done. Yes, it does. Hey there, uh, Kenny. Need help? Any help? Need any help? No, I think I got it. Do you need any help? What do you mean? I mean in taking care of that little girl. You know what you're doing? You got kids of your own? I'm okay. I think I've got it handled okay. Long as I keep her safe, I think I'm yep. doing all right. With those things out there, maybe, sure, that's enough. But you gotta ask yourself if you're the type of guy who can do better than that if her parents don't show up. I'll keep that in mind. How's your How's son? Your son? Yep. Good, I think. Kachi's got a sister up in Memphis. We were coming back from visiting her. We were in a gas station and some guy grabbed my boy. I thought he was kidnapping him. I was on the fucker in about two seconds and... Christ. Just lucky I was there. We saw a lot of bodies before we stumbled upon Herschel's. But we're a tough family, Lee. Ain't nothing gonna phase us. Phase up? I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm sorry I brought so that into this. what's your family's plan? Get back on down to Lauderdale and let this mess get sorted out. Government will start handing out shots and the National Guard will do its thing. On the odd chance things got too bad, we could hop on my boat, I guess. You've got a boat. I'm a commercial fisherman, catching mackerel, dolphin, whatever's biting and paying. Katya wouldn't be wild about it, but the boat's not that bad. See you. Mmm. Florida seafood is like the best thing ever. 
Am I doing something wrong? Seems like those two are getting along. Uh, maybe I gotta go back to Sean. Sean and Duck, maybe. Hopefully. Hey, Lee. Okay, no, that's not it. I'm gonna go uh, check on the others. Whatever you want. Do man. I talk to the dad? Her, Hirsch? Why are you Hirsch? Oh, there he Do is. You have to go to the bathroom or anything like that? Lee, the young woman can take care of herself. Yeah, okay. I didn't see him there last time. How'd you get out of Atlanta? I was on my way out anyway. The timing of all this just happened to be right. Huh. If there ever is a good time for the supposed apocalypse. Uh, this farm's a nice plot of land. Huh. Had you told me 20 years ago I'd still be doing this, I would have told you that you were <laughs> full of crap. Never was a plan having a place like this. It was in the family, and I guess so was I. Family's important. That's all that matters. You agree with that? I do and I don't. Too. Yes. Where's your family, family now? Family can be toxic Parents, too, guys. Why? Girlfriend? My parents are in Macon with my brother. Well, I hope they're all right. I hope so and too. Now you've got this little girl to take care of. Clementine, is it? You just stumbled up on yes. her? I was being attacked and she came to my rescue. Hmm. It's true. Can I give you a piece of advice? Sure, Herschel. Sure. Sure. I don't know who you are or what you did, but you better become a better liar and fast. Let's say things don't get better back in the cities, or they get worse before they do. You're going to have to depend on the honesty of strangers if you're going to make it. And if those same people get to questioning yours, you're going to be in trouble. So whoever you are and whatever you did, keep it to your damn self. He's so hostile. Well, at least you have the common sense to listen to a man giving you advice. Go! I'll get my gun. Love hate relationship with Kenny. Get out. Get the fuck out of here. I'm sorry. Sorry. Your son is alive. You don't get to be sorry. And you, you didn't even try to help. I was worried about the boy. But you weren't worried about that. Oh my goodness. Please. Just go. It's a lose lose situation. Get out and never come back. Rest in peace, Sean. 
You're a goat still. You've got that ride to make it if you want it. What a, what a day already, first day. Well, this is as far as we're going. And it's far enough. friendly trucks run out of gas why would you yell I, don't, I never got that Fuck. you know this zombie apocalypse you know just yell out i'm here come kill me come get me i have a family here more meat for you to eat Woo. oh my baby mama Take risks like this and we can't just let people die either when i say that door stays shut no matter what i fucking mean it we don't know who these people are they could be dangerous oh yeah we're dangerous with two kids worse they could have let them right to us where the hell is your humanity yeah, exactly we have kids with us i see one little girl what is it i i have to pee I'd go out there again in a second. I bet you would. In a minute, Clem. I'm sorry, Clem. They've got kids, Lily. Those things outside don't care. Maybe you should go join them then. You'll have something to <laughs> God damn it, Lily. You have to control these people. You're Our an asshole. Just ran out there. She's an asshole, that's for sure. That's what it takes. Well, you don't have to be a bitch yep. about it. Yep, let him know, Lee. Holy shit. Son of a bitch. One of them is bitten. He wasn't bitten. He wasn't bitten. Hell, he wasn't. We have to end this now. Over my dead body. We'll dig one hole. No, I'm cleaning him up. There's no bite. He's fine. Don't you fucking people get it? We've already seen this happen. We let someone with a bite stay in, and we all end up bitten. Shut up. We gotta throw him out, or smash his head. Dang. Stop him! Hey, what do we do about this guy? Dad, it's just a boy. It, it, reason with him. We reason with him. With the bloody end of an axe handle, maybe. Nobody threatens my boy. Everyone chill the fuck out! Nobody is doing anything. Shut up, Lily. And you, shut the fuck up. They will find us, and they will get in here. Oh, and none of this God, how much I hate matter. this freaking guy. But right now, we're about to be trapped in here with one of those things. What the hell are you talking about? He's bitten! That's how you turned! He's not bitten. Please stop this. It's upsetting him. Oh, I'm upsetting him. Upsetting is getting eaten alive. Dad, I sit down it. or else. It's a big deal. Sit down. Well, that's it. You're gonna whoop me? <laughs> you and what homo parade? Wow. <laughs> that's good. Little boy, before you eat your mommy, you can watch your dad get his nose broken. I'm gonna kill him, cat. Just worry about duck. Lee. Yeah? There's someone in there. It's just locked. Keys behind the counter. Probably. Hey, I'm not the bad guy here. I'm just looking out for my daughter. No, you're just the guy arguing for killing a kid. He's covered in muck. She'll find the bite. Watch. She won't. And if she does, the first thing he'll do is sink his teeth into his mom's face. Then, when she's dead, he'll probably pounce on your little girl. Yeah, he's just a boy. A boy. I think we can handle it. A little boy? He'll be an uncontrollable man-eater. 
It's not gonna happen. It is. And we're tossing him out now. Hit him, Kenny. Stop him. Knock this guy out. Happily. Yep. Oh. Jesus. Oh, oh man. <laughs> Come on, Kenny. <laughs> oh, let's go, let's go, let's go. We gotta go to our baby girl. Thank you, okay. babe. You're amazing. Just great, thanks. Twice she saved our life already. Twice. Uh, guys. Everybody down. Stay quiet. They're gonna get in. Shut up. Is that the military? Somebody with the AK. Thank God for whatever it is. We almost died because of this bitch and a Richie trigger finger. That was stupid. That was. Uh, oh, Dad! Ah, ah, ah. Karma. Quick karma. What's wrong with him? What's wrong with it? It's his heart. My pills. Um, nitroglycerin pills? Yes, we're out. We've been trying to get into the pharmacy since we got here. Please try to get in there, behind the counter where the pills are. We just got here. You guys been trying to get in there through the office? It's probably another entrance. Maybe through the office. How do you know that's an office? Uh, educated guess. It doesn't matter. We need nitroglycerin pills. Please get in there. I'll keep an eye on my dad. Why did medicine be having like extra long useful. names? We could be in here a while. I'm starting to think this drugstore isn't a permanent solution. You're right. This ain't exactly Fort Knox. What do you suggest? We need as much gas as possible so we can all get out of downtown Macon. Fast. Agreed. Then I'll head out and get gas. There's a motel not too far from here, out towards the end of Peachtree. I'll work my way towards it and then loop back, siphoning what I can. Sounds good. You know your way around? Local? Born and raised. Hey. If you're gonna do that, Here's a walkie-talkie if you get in a tight spot. Hopefully, you won't need it. Cool. Clementine's got the other one. Check in with her and get back here as soon as you can. And you, what's your name? It's Lily. My dad's Larry. Keep a good eye on him. Larry These the boys will work on getting you your medicine. That's right. And you, you keep an eye on that front door. You're our lookout. It's Doug. You got it. And I'm Carly. Okay, Carly. You'll shift in with Doug Carly's when you need wifey. to. Carly's wifey. For now, get some rest. You're a good shot, and I'd like to keep it that way. You got it, boss. Now get him those pills. Let's talk to. Oh wait, wait, wait. Looks like nobody got a chance to donate anything before this all went down. Oh, you're so funny. Talk to Clemmy. Hey there. Hi. Can I, uh, get you anything? I'm okay. Maybe I'm a little hungry. I'll I got you. I got you. So, we should get to know um, each other. Are you okay? What? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm fine. I just, uh, I'm good. That's good. Yeah, I think so. Uh, being good is good, despite the circumstances. Yep. Yep. Any word, Any from, word Glenn? from Glenn? Nothing. Is he okay? Yeah, I think so. You're doing a good job. We'll Amazing sit Amazing job. Okay. Got the clown. Clown, clown, clown. What did I pick up? Oh, Snickers. The pills are in there. Well, let me bring the food to Clem first, because she's hungry. 
Everything okay? Mm-hmm. I didn't mean to click that. It's not much, but here you go. Thank you. Of course. Always. Always and forever gotta take a baby girl. Uh, what did I pick up again? I don't know. Let's talk to her first. You're a pretty good shot. Well, you don't fuck with a reporter, especially one that's three days out from her last cup of coffee. <laughs> you handle yourself well? Yes, you do. You seem to handle yourself pretty well. <laughs> really? I'm a disaster. I can't tell. Yep. My news editor was eaten about five feet away from me, and I would have joined her if it wasn't for that dorky guy on watch over there. I'm sorry. She was an asshole, but, you know. <laughs> yeah. That guy saved you? Yeah. Can you believe it? Those creeps, or, or ghouls, or whatever the hell they are. They were pulling our van apart, and that guy, Doug, just came to the rescue. You can never tell who the heroic ones are gonna be, I suppose. Yeah, that's kind of cute. That's very true. In that parents' basement sort of way. <laughs> huh? Oh, nothing. How'd you end up here? How'd you end up here? We drove up to cover the Cherry Blossom Festival. Real hard-hitting stuff. Sounds worth it. I want to go to Japan when it's cherry blossom season. Oh. What are you One day around with, with Mason. A radio. I can't get it to work though. Here, let me have a look. Need a battery, huh? Yep. There are no batteries in this thing. What now? Do you know that there are no batteries in that thing? Yeah, of course. I mean, yeah. She. <laughs> no. I can try to find some. Needs two. Thanks. I wouldn't even really know what to look for. You don't know how to look for battery, Carly. Oh my goodness. Heard or seen anything? Nothing, luckily. Wanna step outside, have a look around? <laughs> I'm not suicidal yet. <laughs> no, the gate out there is closed. We can hang out in front of the store and be fine. Oh, huh. Not now. Uh, not right now. I gotta look right. for a battery first. And then we could hang out, Doug. We could have a good time. Go party and bullshit. We can't let anything happen to Ducky. I know, hon. Hey, Lee. Maybe punching him wasn't such a good idea. There were worse plans. Says the guy who didn't get punched in the mouth. Anyway, we, Kat and I, appreciate your support. Thank you. Anytime. How's Doug doing? How's Doug doing? He's okay. It was just a shock. We're lucky as hell nobody got nabbed on the way in here. No kid. How's she doing? She's good, She's I think. Good, I think. She's a tough one right there. Yeah, She's she just a little girl, Ken. What were you She's saying, so tough. Lee? She spent days surviving on her own? That's right. Not just any little girl can do that. What's the plan? What's the plan? Hang tight, I suppose. Seems pretty dangerous out there, so we ought to wait for things to clear up. You said your family was from here in Macon? That's right. Where are they? Should we go looking for them? They own this place. They, uh, own this place. They're gone. Oh, sweetie. Cat. They were good people. I wasn't around much, but yeah, they're dead. Are you guys all right? Are you guys all right? Oh, we're I, just I fine. I almost Consider forgot he owned that place till the done? option came up. We've all been through a lot. Lee, you got a second? Sure. Back on Herschel's farm. Yeah. We didn't even try to save him. That blood is on our hands, you know? No, your hands. I was trying to save your boy. We let that boy die. I know, man. I know. It wouldn't have taken much. That's what I keep thinking. I keep seeing his face. I'm gonna make him feel bad. Look at me. 
I don't know if I can carry this. What else is there to do? Trying to put his blood under his hand on my hand? Crazy. The nerve. Let me talk to this douche. How's he doing? I'm not sure I got your name. It's Lee. Lily. My dad's Larry. Oh, how of course. I was just doing mean. what I had to earlier. Everyone was. You didn't have to call me a bitch in front of my people. <laughs> I don't need that shit, alright? It's hard enough to be in charge of people's lives without some dick cutting me down. Okay, my bad, my Lily. With my dad. That didn't help. You're from here? You're from here? I work at Warner Robins, the Air Force base. Yeah, I know it. Pilot? Nah, just mechanical admin stuff. I deal with a bunch of shitheads and bureaucrats all day. Sometimes a plane, if I'm lucky. You? I work up at UGA. Was anyone here when you guys got here? No, this place was pretty wrecked. We pulled a couple of bodies out of the office. Oh, what Are am I okay? shocked? I forgot. <laughs> Yeah, I'm fine. Did you know anybody here? Yep. Yeah, the owners, they were, uh, we were close. I'm sorry. We found an older couple in the office. Dad hauled them out in case they weren't really dead. What do you think about all this? What do you think about all this? What is there to think? The dead are up, walking around, eating people, and turning them into more, more of them. I mean, Jesus. We need to stick together and get through this. I'm I don't need to roll. To him now. I don't. I, I know everything about Larry. It's a dick. Okay, who am I? I'm giving one to Carly. Here. Cause she saved well, us. We found some stuff to eat. Oh, um, thanks. You're welcome. Are you sure your girl doesn't eat it? She's good. I've been trying to keep her fed and watered. You're a good caretaker. Thanks. This battery should fit the radio. Great, thanks. I'm still looking for batteries for that thing. Thanks. Oh, I appreciate it. I thought, were, I thought you only took one. Okay, where are we gonna find that battery at? Hold on, hold on. My bad, Carly. It's been a long time. To Fort Lauderdale. We'll do our damnedest. It's all melted now. <laughs> you know what? Well, we're good people. I have a son now. Some rest, so let's give it to Doug. With those it's not much, but here. For the boy. Oh, thanks, Lee. He appreciates it. That's sweet, Lee. I know. I'm a, I'm a great mom. That's what it is. Luckily, there's nothing I need in here. There's a photo over there. Aww. I know, Lee. Find anything? A 
I thought I found out in this place. It's a photo of the family who owned this place. It might help us track down the keys to the office. I know who you are. Who? You're Lee Everett. You're a professor at Athens who killed a state senator who was sleeping with your wife. This is your parents' store. Folks around town know the owner's son got himself a life sentence, but I'm a reporter for WABE in Atlanta. I paid attention to that trial. Maybe you're a murderer, but I don't really care. Frankly, that's a skill that might be. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for the compliment, Charlie. Did you Charlie. tell anyone out there who you were or that you were tied to this place? What's it to you? To me? I'm not the one with the felony record. I didn't mean to say you that. You seem like an okay guy. And the last thing we need is drama out there. You've got this little girl to take care of. And look, don't make me wrong on this. But I don't plan to. Good. Because if this lasts longer than a few days, and you're a detriment to the group, then we'd have a problem. I hear you. I'll just keep it to myself. Thank you, Carly. Thanks. Don't worry about it. She saved us, so we could trust her. Okay, battery, where would it be? Well, the parents came in here hoping to survive, but it looks like one of them was hurt. I wonder if it was my dad. <laughs> Trying to be a hero, maybe, or a protector at least. Man, I wouldn't know what I'd be going through if like, I'm like in Lee's situation right now. I would, yeah, I would just, Daddy Kane. This was my dad's cane. He'd zip around here on it from time to time. Was he sick? Nah, uh, he was okay. I actually saw him whoop shoplifters with it. <laughs> this cane's protected this place better than any guard dog ever could. Plus, he knew how to make it look cool. Like you with your hat. My dad gave it to me. Aww. See, dad's just smart like that. I really wish I had my hat on right now. Better get this door clear, huh? Can yep. I help? Sure. Sure, Clem. Here we go. Watch your fingers in the drawers. Mm. How are you doing? How are you doing? Yeah, it's not that heavy. How about with everything outside? It's not good. No, it's not. But I think it'll be okay. Yep. Okay. Here we go. Do you have Always kids? Always gotta make sure climate's no. good. You don't have a family? Let's not talk about that. Do you play sports? I play soccer, but I don't really like it. <laughs> I'm not crazy about it either. I'm what do you like, clam swimming? Why don't you want to talk about your family? Do they like hate you? Yeah. I wouldn't blame them. I wouldn't blame them. Why? Did you fight? I fight with my mom sometimes. We didn't fight. We just didn't talk for a while. Look, my family's gone and I just wish things would have been different. Yeah. I'm gonna say I killed someone. I'm gonna be true. I'm gonna uh, true to my baby girl. I, I got into a fight once. And what happened? And it ended really badly. After that, I wasn't allowed to talk to my family. That's so sad. It is. Let's move this thing. It is, Clem. Oh! Are you okay? I hurt my finger. Is it bleeding? A little. That shit was... For now, blood! Dad 
get the remote for that thing in here someplace. Oh, there we go. That's how we get the battery. Let's have a look at that finger. Ow. It hurt. Let's see if we can do something about it. Okay, well, it's not broken. Wait, wait, wait. I didn't mean to back out. Let's have a look at that finger. Ow. It hurt. Let's see if we can do something about it. Some kisses? Let's get this cut covered up. Yes, I please. I gave her finger a kiss. Just a motherly instinct first, you know? Lee? Yeah? What if my parents come home and I'm not there? They'll find us. They'll uh, track us down. Don't worry. Yeah, okay. We should keep a lookout. Yeah. I've got my walkie-talkie in case they try that way. Stay close to me until then, okay? <laughs> don't make me, don't make me cry. It's the remote to my dad's TV. Let's turn it on. I forgot what do you see. That's what I figured. That's the door to the pharmacy. We should be able to find pills for Larry in there. Come on, Lair. That's TV, the door to you the pharmacy. -hole. We should be we'll able still to try find to save you, right? In there. It's locked. We need to track down the keys if we're going to help Larry. Is there anything here? Nope. Okay, let's go back. Want to head back into the drugstore with me? Okay. Lee? Yeah. Yes, Clem? You're not bad, right? No. Uh, why are you asking me that? That lady said you killed someone. Was that because he was one of the things trying to eat you? No, he wasn't. No, he wasn't. Oh, was he bad? He was. I'm sorry, Clem. I have to tell you the truth before I disappoint you in the future if you find I'm lying. You know? Hey there. Uh, this is Glenn, and, uh, Kinda in a jam here. Uh, little girl, if you're there, can you put your daddy on the phone? Or on the talkie or whatever? We'll do, Glenn. The, what's up? So, I'm down at that motor inn and, well, uh, I'm stuck. Stuck? Yeah, I uh, saw a chance to get some supplies for the group. And a bunch of the Roman ones got the jump on me. I'm hiding over here, but they won't leave. What's up? Glenn's trapped down at the motor inn. Hey, Glenn. We're gonna talk it over and send a group to come get you, all right? Awesome. I'll sit tight till then. Sounds good. Sounds I'm great. Hold on to this until we get Glenn back, okay? I'll take good care of it. What do you think? I think Doug's not great around zombies. You got your family here. I'll take Carly and her dead eye down to the motor inn, get Glenn, <laughs> and get back here as fast as I can. If that's what you want to do, somebody's got to. Yeah, yep. I'm in. Good. Doesn't sound too bad there right now. Let me know as soon as you want to head out. I could use a jog. Oh, there's another battery there. Duh! I did, how did I not see that? Oh my god, you're probably just cringing in the gameplay right now. You're like, Ooh, it's right there! And here's another one. Should be able to get it to work now. It's still not working? Yeah, I can't figure it out. Let me have a look at that thing. Girl! Go ahead. She probably put the battery wrong. Yeah, she did. Continue. 
continues to spread on the estimated death toll continues to skyrocket. WABE urges you to stay indoors and avoid any contact with individuals you suspect may have been exposed. The station is okay. In the event of a full uh, uh, my my producer's telling me we have to get off the air. Oh, <laughs> of course. And that's that. Hey, Connie. I better get back to it. Yep. Thanks, by the way. Don't mention it. Just remember what I said. Yeah, I will. We gotta save Glenn. Yeah. Get down. Ooh, boy, you need to get your hair done. Get that hair did. Alright, why are you, Glenn? Did you see that? Sword oh, there's Glenn. Be ready to shoot. Guys! Oh, man, I'm glad you're here. You could have got out, Glenn? Uh, right then wasn't so hard. Oh, yeah, he needs the Can supplies. Can we get out of here before any of these things notice us? Not yet. There's a survivor trapped up there. No way, we gotta go, now. Listen, I was out here looking for gas, and then up there in the corner room, I heard crying coming from inside. Who is it? It's a girl. We talked and she got frightened. I was trying to get in and help her and she started yelling and saying I was bitten. I tried to convince her I wasn't, and that's when all these guys came out of the forest. A, a couple almost got me, and I ended up hiding in the ice machine. Lucky you, now let's go. We can't just leave her. Damn right we can. You guys are suicidal. Over a <laughs> I'm saving her. With or without you. Think about if it was you. Fine. Fine. Let's go save Glenn's damsel in distress. Oh, okay. I remember this part. There's one area that I was like, how the heck am I supposed to do this part? Maybe we gotta go that way. Yeah, we do. We do gotta go this way first. Screwdriver. Oh, no, 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 no. Ow. Hey, man, that drew some attention. Be careful. Okay, never. Wait, maybe we don't do that first. What do we do? Oh, okay, never mind. What the heck? Why he still going? I'm pressing. Okay, whatever. Go left then. We can do something with that car, I bet. If it weren't for that fella lurking near the front. What am I? Oh my goodness. 
damage that window. Okay, maybe I gotta go the other way. Oh, the pillow! Good luck smothering them to death. That's not really what I have in mind. Okay, and that's how we get the screwdriver. They really want to get into that room. Yeah, they do. gonna do with that? I don't really know. Do you have any tricks for getting into cars? Not without tools or making a bunch of noise and none with pillows. Okay, that's not it. You need to find a weapon. Nini, Come on, you gotta be smarter than this. Oh, and then that's how we throw it in the truck. Why wouldn't let me go to the right though? Let me see the spark plug. Porcelain inside these things turns car windows to tissue paper. Smart Glenn. Screwdriver, and we get the guy in the front, and then we go around. That could scramble a brain pretty good. That's exactly what I was thinking. Yep. Get his butt, get his butt. Oh, shoot. Oh my god, you guys didn't see that. My mouse, my mouse messed up, okay? It was not me, it was my mouse. I blame the mouse. Take two. Is 
This pick is the prime walker killer. I should be able to take those guys out when they come around the corner of the RV. Got this. Come on, Willie. Come on. I'm. I was trying to get him a little bit closer. I didn't think he was going to get him that fast. I'll wait for him to get closer. I'm going to spam it. I'll wait for him to get closer. Stab him in the face. One more time. One more time, my heart. Just leave your weapon there too, Lee. Dude, where'd your weapon go? Into that ice big sized hole. <laughs> Holy shit. It's cool. Now we've got this. Are you two Yes, done? we do. Get that. I uh, thank Ooh. you. That should help. you guys lag behind just in case this goes to hell okay we'll be right behind you sounds good to me Rad. Rad. Radical, dude. Hello in there. We're here to help. Please just go away. Let's go, guys. In a minute. If you open up, we can take you somewhere safer. We've got a group in town. No, no, no. Please. She's in trouble. No. Miss, we're coming in. Yeah, somebody not trying to get saved, leave him alone. You might want to break through that board first. How did she lock that up in the first place? Coming out. You're oh, hurt. she's bitten. Oh God. I, I said stay away. We need to get you help. It's too late for that. Guys, she's been bitten. What? I told you. I said go away. I'm bit. <laughs> but you wouldn't just leave. Let's calm down. You could be fine. I won't be fine. My boyfriend was bitten. You get sick and you die and, and you come back and you kill anything you can find. You have a boyfriend? Glenn. I don't want hey, come that. Come on, Glenn. It's not Christian. Please. Just leave me. Please go. Okay. We'll leave. Just... Try to take care of yourself for whatever time you have left. That's all you could do. You have a gun. So? Can I borrow it? What do you no. mean, borrow? Give it to me. I can just, you know, end this, and then, then there's no problem. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Please. I don't want to be one of them. They're, they're satanic. Give it to Give her. It to her. What? You can't be serious. Do it. No. Yeah, look at her. Look at her, Carly. There's no happy ending to this. Okay. Fine. Okay. 
couldn't just hand it to her. You had to. <laughs> Thank you so much. I know. Come on, Kylie Petty. We can't watch this. Let's go. We can't go yet. What? Why not? Because somebody needs to pick up the gun. Can't leave it. You two go on. Okay. You sure? Yeah. God bless you. God bless you. All right. God bless you too. I'm so sorry. Everyone all right? Yeah, we had some close calls, but Glenn is fine and, well, yeah, we're okay. I've got a few cans of gas for your pickup in the trunk of my car. Good to hear it. And things back here? Quiet. Our friend is still in and out over there. He won't survive any more stress. The next order of business is getting those pills out of the pharmacy. All right. And this, how are we gonna get the lock? I believe and get the brick. I hope I'm doing this right. It's the only way. How are we doing? Good. Want to go have a look around outside? Yes. Yes, puppy. Let's have a look around. Okay. Hey, man, what are you doing? We can't even think about going out there unless the keys are out there for sure. Oh, we gotta show him the picture. That guy over there has the keys. How can you be sure? I found this in the office. That boy in the photo worked here. The keys being on him is as good a bet as we can make. I had to do that yeah, the whole time. You just need to figure out how to get out there and get them. You wouldn't need long, right? Nah, just a few seconds. Maybe there's a way to distract them and buy you some time. I can't reach that brick. Could have reached a break. <clears throat> Let's throw it at it. Kobe. Come on, come on, come on. Now let's get the keys. Come on, baby brother, come in. Be careful. Keep an eye out, will you? Get your closure. To take care of that wall. That helped. I 
love you. Oh my god, I can't imagine how hard that is. One more. And that's how the cookie crumbles. Man, that was close. But we did it. It's all that matters. I've got the keys. Hi, right, Larry. Let's right. save your butt God, now. Amazing. Let's get in there. The whole gang is coming. Damn, girl, walk faster. You back hurt? Just kidding. <laughs> Time to go. I'm gonna get the truck pulled up right back. Do it fast. I gotta get my dad out of here. I don't plan on dilly dallying. Honey, take Duck into the office and barricade the living hell out of the door behind me. Glenn, when you hear me honking in the alley, start getting people out of here. You got it. Doug, Carly, and Lee, you guys make sure our defenses stay up till then. And Lee, I better take that axe in case I run into any of them on the way to my truck. Here you go. I that door's not locked anymore. Shit! You three, get on it! I'll get back as fast as I can! Stay away from the windows. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Hey, Lee. If we don't make it through this, I should know that I think you're a great guy. Thank you, Doug. We we'll make, make it through this. this. Doug, if we don't make it through this... Oh my god, Kylie! Go. I should know what? Huh? You said I should know... Are you sure? Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh. Okay, then. Come time. Can you look for something to stick in between the handles? Something real strong, okay? Okay. The cane. The pimp daddy cane. Come time. Did you find anything? Nothing. Wait. The window is screwed. Go. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. I found something. Thank you, Clem. I'm going with the person that has a gun, no matter what. Doug. He didn't really help. Sorry, Doug. Rest in peace in the comment section for Doug, guys. Doug and Sean. Oh my 
god. Let's go! I thought you were supposed to honk! You got dug. <laughs> no! You gotta move! God, you did that, you piece of. I'm not letting somebody else get eaten today. Especially a good friend. Oh, you Larry. Oh my God, should have. You should have just gave that heart attack. You deserve that heart attack. You know. Dang, somebody just popping off like it's New Year's. Hey, Glenn. With uncountable severe emergencies in all counties, Georgia's cities and their current level of disaster are as follows. Atlanta, stage 9 catastrophe. Augusta, stage I think I need to go. To Atlanta? Yeah. I got friends there. And I just can't stay here knowing that they could be trapped in that city. Sounds like nobody knows what's happening here. When we left a few days ago, could have gone either way. I gotta take mm -hmm. my chances. Can you just look over there? Everything we own would be lost if I left you alone for five minutes. I don't want to try to keep track of things. It's not like we have much to begin with. Hi, right, Glenn. You're a good friend. Find your friends, yep. You gotta let him find his friends. Find your friends. Be you safe. want them to at least die Thanks, happy, Lee. you know? That means a lot. I don't mean to abandon you all, but this seems like an okay setup. And I'm sure things will be back to normal around here in no time. I hope so. You guys be safe. We'll try. And Lee, you know, if this doesn't get better, people are going to give up with the girl from upstairs. Are you just gonna let them? You told Kari to give her the gun. Yeah. I did, okay. I'm sorry. Maybe you were right. I don't know how to handle something like that. Anyway, see you around. See you, Glenn. See you never. Hey, kid. Check up on everybody. Close call back there. Thanks for picking me up. Yes. No problem. We have to take care of each other. Yeah, we do. Yes, we do, Kenny. Hey, about Clementine. Yeah? Earlier, I said there's some stuff out there that might screw up a precious little girl like her. You did. Well, I still think that's true. But after what I saw today, I think between you taking care of her and her taking care of herself, you two are going to be just fine. Thanks, Kenny. We're going to be the dynamic duo. Till forever. Where's Lily? How you doing, Carly? I'm okay. You know, considering. I do, yeah. I can't stop thinking about Doug. We couldn't have saved him, could we? I don't think so. Nope. It happened pretty fast. I know it's stupid. We just met. And he was such a... It's just that... I think that I liked him. 
I'm sure he liked you too, yep. I'm sure he liked you too. <laughs> you better have. Anyway, I'd rather be alone, I think. I understand. Take, take your time, Wait, Carly. Lee? What is it? How did you choose? We both needed you. You picked me. Because you had the gun. I was going to, I was going help, to help you both. You both. But you helped me first. Yeah, I did. I just wish we both could have made it, you know? Me too, Carl. Trust me, I do too. More people, the better. Now let's talk to Dougie Dugs and our baby girl Clam. She looks sad. Oh man, check this out. The Jumatron had this mini gun on his shoulder. It's all like pow pow. pow. Oh, not Doug. Duck. I'm sorry. Ducky Duck. But you know what? He wasn't. Oh, and then. Hey, Duck. Uh, you want to cool it for a minute? Okay. Sorry. I'm sorry. There's uh, not a lot of kids here. No, it's not that. It's I got grabbed again. I was there though. I fell, and my walkie-talkie broke. Glenn had the other one. Did you check the glove box? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Thanks. I know I need to be tough. I'm just sad. I know it doesn't I make know, any Clam. sense, but it's how I used to talk to my mom and dad. And now they're gone. It's gone. Maybe we can find you another one. I'll just keep this one, I guess. Lee, come here for a second. Hmm. We'll figure it out, Clem. Oh, man, Clementine, another thing. What do you want? At least Doug like is there. Doug is there to distract Clem. Her dad tried to kill me, so. Well, he did <laughs> because he knows that Lee Everett is a convicted murderer. And so will everyone else if you go near her. You hear me? I know who you are. I don't care. Tell him. I don't give a shit about what happens to you. But if anything happens to my daughter or that little girl you've got with you, you watch your ass. He doesn't make sense. I brought her there. I'm trying to take hey, care of Clem. But he tried to kill me. Make it make sense, Larry. You bipolar My dad ass. would be dead if it weren't for you. I know. You got Doug is dead because of me. You can't be like that. You're only one man. We're lucky to have you. I hope that's the sound of us winning this thing. Me too. This motor in's pretty damn defendable. If we block off the entrances with some cars, keep someone on watch, we could stay here until the military rolls through. I actually agree with that plan. Me too. We got beds, we got water, and most importantly, we got light. They're worse places to call home. Yeah, you're right. You I know, agree. guys, I think it's going to be okay. No lights. I thought we'd be fine if we survived the walkers. Never expected they'd starve us out. I want you to have this, okay? In case you or Clementine starts feeling weak. You don't owe me anything, Carly. How you doing, Clementine? I'm really hungry, Lee. We gotta get food, Lee. Soon. Howdy. I'm Andrew St. John. We're from the St. John Dairy. It's beautiful. I never did thank you for saving Duck from the Walkers back at Herschel's farm. Something's coming, Lee. There's gonna be a war. The Walkers don't worry me as much as the bandits. You fucked with us! Now we're gonna take what we want! There's too many of them! You never liked my dad. Even back at the drugstore when everyone thought Jenny's kid was fit, you went out of your way to side against him. This isn't happening. No more, please. No more, please. Lee, please. Starve for help. Okay, let's see what we did. Okay, honesty lied to her show. You and 46 players lied. Did I lie? 
I, I could have sworn I told the truth. I probably did lie. Hmm. Who would you say, Duck or Sean? You and 52% of players chose Duck. Says 50-50, I was there. Oh, everything I pick, I was like 50-50. Loyalty side with Kenny, 54%. Mercy gave Irene the gun, 47%. I didn't even know her name was Irene till now. Who would you say, Doug or Carly? It's pretty even. Carly, I had to go for her, she had a gun. All right, guys, episode one just ended. I'm gonna do episode two right after this. And I hope you guys stay tuned. Subscribe and give a like. Enjoy my gameplay of Walking Dead from the beginning to the end. All right, guys, I love you. I gotta go.